Buffalo. Check it out. It's a beast. And yes, I know y'all seen it. And um, no, it's not a stampede. I do have the stampede bumpers on it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure y'all heard of converting slash into a monster truck, so that's what I did. Um, I didn't, I've had plenty of slash back then. And um, just didn't know that you can actually convert the bumper or use the stampede bumper on a slab. And um, I didn't know this because, well, I just didn't know. <laughs> but um, one of my friends told me at the hobby shop that uh, you know you can actually put the stampede bumper on a slab when you do a monster trunk conversion, whatever you want to say. Um, it looks awesome, man. I actually didn't believe it so when I bought a stampede I actually used the bumper I took it off my stampede and put it on the slash and it fit perfect real good so I went off so you know what? I'm gonna do one of my slashes as a monster truck again because I've done it before but just not this looks just really good and um especially with this body and I really like how it came out I love it look at this sorry about that do have tape inside here. I did take off the guards inside so it can actually fit a little lower and could cover the chassis. And I did dye the chassis black, so you know, hopefully, I like it because I like it. You know, it's dark, everything's black. Um, the willy bar is on here instead of that slash bumper, and I uh, have the red wheels on it just to go with the body and the shocks <clears throat> it's really nice gives it a nice look I do have the mashers on here 2.8 I have the offsets up front and I have the regular ones in the back and it's just it's an ugly look um, I already ordered the offsets for the back so they can stick out because the body is can see hitting the tire and um, of course I didn't like that because when it jumps and it, it lands it's gonna it's gonna do a whole lot of rubbing there and I really don't care because it is a bashing body even though I did a pretty good paint job <laughs> on it but I can do another one but um I just I want them to last so I want that tire out you know stick it up so it's okay. and um well Oh, sweet man, I'm like, look at the bottom. It just fits perfect. The slash. Even the wheel. Look at that. They all fit perfect. Just beautiful. And this slash body, or the chassis and all that. Not the chassis, but everything's upgraded. It has RPM, Techno, you know, the drive line. Um, RPM, of course, that bumper for the SAP, but from Slash, Proline caps. You know, it's pretty loaded. Um, gosh, I just don't know. It's just, it's, it's perfect, guys. And, just love the way the truck came out. Um, the colors I used was um, it's a gunmetal. It's kind of it has more. This is actually a darker gunmetal because I sprayed a light coat of gunmetal and then I did um, black, so it kind of made it a little darker. But it came out perfect. It just has a little bit of splats on the top. I don't know if you can see them, they're about, you know, you got them already, this one right there, and the other one, you know, it's, it's a little bit, can't really tell, but, um, yeah, it's a gunmetal, and we have, of course, chrome, chrome, uh, trimming, chrome, 
white pen line. It's actually pearl white. It's too thin, you can't really see it. Um, it is actually not just a red, but it's called bright red. Um, and it looks awesome. The chrome goes all the way around to the back. It's a nice look, man. Really like how this build came out. It's like a big giant stampede, <laughs> pretty much now. It's not a slash anymore. Stampede, <laughs> but uh, it just came out perfect, man. I know it's gonna come out this way. Um, on the mashers, this all a sharpie. It's gonna come off eventually, on probably the first run, but. Since it's, um, since I'm doing the build right now, it's just to give that look, a badass look. I am gonna make a GoPro video on it, and I'll have a whole, you know, I guess selfie bar, if you wanna call it, hanging from here and, you know, giving you good angles and let it spin. I will have to make little holes on top to hold that little deal thing to give you that. 360 look. I've done it before with my Emacs, but um, yeah, I want to do it with this one. And uh, let me get uh, my Stampede and actually put it next to it so you can see how how much bigger this looks. I mean, it just just looks like a big grown-up version of the Stampede. Now, this is that four by four. You know, it's a little smaller. So you can see the little body smaller. I am gonna make a video on this one too. This is pretty loaded. Not as loaded as this one. This one's loaded underneath too. It's getting there. But um, both of them electronics, same stock. Yeah, just two, one more. Not much either. It looks like it's almost pretty much. You can barely see. Maybe the camera angle is not letting you see, but um, still, you can give it a little tip. But it's right here. This is a dark color, but it gives it what, like, not even an inch. Maybe a half an inch taller than this real stampede. And of course, oh, well, you can see from here in Tugay much taller this one is it's not much either but um it's just longer you know gives this cool look um let me show you what I've got underneath because it's just it's not um nothing big just you know electronics like I said is stock Just uh, A-arms, you know, a little bit of stuff, no wheels, tires, upgraded, there's not much upgrade on it, and it is pretty, has that technology, drive uh, shot, Oh, you know what? On the steering solo, if I'm right, it's a tactic. This is actually on my crawler, but since I have metal gears, whatever, um, I use it. It's pretty, it's pretty quick. I mean, it's not. 
I don't know. I mean, does it? I didn't see any difference between this one and the Traxxas one. Pretty much the same. Um. But yeah. So you can check it all out. Stock and uh, let me see. Just wanted to show you out my uh, truck. I'm pretty sure everybody makes videos of the. Slash being covered into my truck. I'm not trying to say this is something new, but just wanted to show you my build. That was pretty cool. Looks sexy as hell. And it looks beast, beast like. For a slash, right? <clears throat> and, um. Just look at that. Like I said, I, I did dye the chassis black, and that is what I used. Red, right, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a powder substance. Got it at Walmart, or you can get it at HP for like a dollar something. Then you can get the liquid bottle for like two bucks. But a lot of people prefer this, or a lot of people prefer the other one. I tried the powder, and it works perfect. It makes it pitch black. Easy to use. I use it on my Stampede to darken that chassis. And um, like I said, I'll show y'all in the video. I'm making a video on it, so y'all can see it on there too. How dark it is. And uh, it works great, guys. I don't know if there's any other different bands. But, um... Yeah, it works pretty good. Does the job. And, uh, well, there's my uh, slash covered it into a stampede, a big plus size extra large stampede. Hope you like my build. Pretty cool looking. Hope you like my paint job. And uh, see y'all later, man.